use the graph of y equals p of x to find the x-intercepts, to solve the equation p of x equals 0, and find the zeros of p of x. Well, it turns out the x-intercepts and solving this equation and find a zero of p of x really all mean the same thing. So let's first find the x-intercepts. So the graph crosses here at 3 comma 0 and the graph crosses here at negative 4 0. But notice that the p of x value for each of those is 0. So if we're solving p of x equaling 0, then that means that the x values are going to be 3, because that's the one that's paired with 0, or negative 4. No other x coordinate pairs with 0. It doesn't cross anywhere else. On, the, on this line here, those are the only places. So those are the solutions. So the solution set of x values that make p of x equals 0 are 3, negative 4. So the notation is a little different, but it really means the same thing. Then the last one is the zeros of p of x the numbers that make p of x 0. Well, those are 3 and negative 4. So the zeros, which are also called roots, are, again, the same numbers. 3 and negative 4. So the intercepts are points and the zeros and the solutions to the equation are x values. 3 and negative 4, 3 and negative 4. 